when I learned like, hey, what do we want to try to do with Nick? Um, I just knew like our kids would be all about it. It's really cool. He's by far the person that complains the least out of anybody. I was born blind, so I was, I was, I was been blind my whole life. He loves trumpet, and although he had piano experience and he helped us, that uh, contributed to the band his freshman year that way. His sophomore year, we were looking, how can we get him out on the field? And he's physically able to do it. Uh, the only thing holding him back was just the sensory part of it. Luckily, we have these two boys, Israel and Alex, that like totally volunteered to step up and make this happen for him. They've made it really, really possible. On tighter sets, we'll hold his shoulder and we'll direct a bit more like directly. And on sets where we don't like move around and swap around as much, we'll use a little like tether belt and we'll all link together and try to move as like one kind of line of people. Once I started relying on Israel and Alex and we trusted each other, things started to work out. It's a great thing when our band program as a whole, like kids and parents, they, they get more out of it than maybe Nick, uh, because um, there's that spirit of just helping each other out and making things happen. I'm excited about just, just pushing myself as far as I can go, trying to get even better every day, trying to just see where I get by the end of the season. You know, when we're done performing, and you know, I, I plan to cry really hard in that moment, so. I think it kind of just drives home the fact that anything can be done with enough drive, with enough practice. Like, I, I feel like it's kind of a move mountain thing. We can move a mountain if we try hard enough with this band, no matter what challenges we come to. I hope to excel in everything I do this year, a little bit more than I did before.